Hi, how are you doing? Happy New Year. I hope you've had a good one. I hope you had a good Christmas and that the new year is promising and delivering all of the things that you want. Personally, I've had COVID and I don't think I've ever been that ill before. I'm still not quite recovered, hence the lack of videos for a while, but I'm definitely heading in the right direction. So let's put that aside. In this video, we're going to talk about something that bugs the crap out of me. And that's the fact that there's a massive contradiction inherent in martial arts training that most people can't even seem to see. There's this cultural trope within the Western world about martial arts that training in a martial art actually makes you more than just a little bit superhuman. It makes you faster, stronger, more agile, inherently better at fighting. I know Kung Fu. Show me. It doesn't feel like an unreasonable thing to claim. That is, after all, the point. Kinda. But it comes more from the Golden Harvest movies of my childhood. From the water margin, Monkey, Bruce Lee, and more recently Jean-Claude Van Damme, Steven Seagal, Donnie Yen, Jet Li. It's partly the fact that Hollywood glams up the fighting to make it look more impressive, but also partly that the good guy always wins in the end, despite being massively overmatched by the bad guys, usually. But also, it's partly from the fact that the story arc of a decent martial art film usually involves some kind of training. In order for our hero to level up, they start off on the receiving end of some kind of bad thing. They go through a training process of some kind, and then, at the end, against all odds, use that training to come out on top. It's this supposed superhuman invulnerability that draws a lot of people into martial arts in the first place. The mystique of the black belt holds true today as much as it ever did. If ever there was a symbol of mastery, it's the black belt. It's even used in the business world to show mastery of whatever system's claiming black belt status these days. But, and this is where things start to fall apart, when it actually comes to the crunch, most black belts are crap at fighting. These things aren't worth the paper they're printed on. And I'm talking about the martial arts variety, not the Six Sigma ones. Though, in fairness, they're probably not great at fighting either. Next time you get a moment, run a quick Google search to see what martial arts schools are currently teaching in your local area. There's probably a karate school. It may or may not be actual traditional karate. There's a chance it may simply be a modern hybrid that uses the name because it's easier to market. There may be the one with a cool name like Dragon Martial Arts or Hero Martial Arts. They tend to talk about the martial arts as if that's somehow a system in and of itself. There may be an Aikido school, a Tai Chi club, Taekwondo. It's likely that there may well be something that's got a convincing oriental name that you've never heard of before. But what they all have in common is that they're full of people that buy into the mystique of the black belt, that are training in the belief that what they're doing will take them closer to this trope of the martial arts hero that can defeat people bigger and stronger than them. And they're wrong. We're going to go off on a bit of a tangent right now. Stick with me, it will make sense soon enough, I promise. Within Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, there's a process I've spoken about a few times before that new people tend to always go through. You come along to your first class pretty confident. You're strong, you know you're good at fighting, you've seen a lot of the sort of stuff they do there on TV and here on YouTube, and you're pretty confident that you'll hold your own. Only you don't. Everyone you train with beats the living crap out of you. From the black belt instructors, through the coloured belts, even the other white belts. Whatever you do makes it worse. When you try to fight, it doesn't work. When you try to relax, that doesn't work either. One of two things tends to happen when a person goes through this. Either they just write it off as being beaten up by a bunch of meathead bullies and they go away never to be seen again, or they have a fairly profound change of mindset. Whoa. They realise that what they've just seen and experienced is exactly what they've always believed about martial arts. A system that actually does do what they've always thought it should, that allows people to win at fighting easily. A system that's learnable, that works, that allows you to beat younger, faster, stronger opponents. The only difference is that in their head, They've always been the one handing out the beating, not the one on the receiving end. 
And yet, I mentioned earlier that there was a massive contradiction, and I stand by that. It's simply that the arts that play on the black belt mystique, that use the tropes we're all so familiar with to market themselves so effectively, that churn out black belt after black belt, are the ones that don't actually do what they claim. And yet they're always full of students who believe, who live with the cognitive dissonance that allows them to see themselves as a skilled fighter without ever having to step outside their comfort zone. The ones that will genuinely teach you how to fight, that will give you the mental and the physical tools to survive a violent encounter that will actually make you into the fighter the films promised you would be, are the ones struggling for students. The ones where people come along and give it a go, but then never come back again because it's too hard. They'd much rather spend their time ironing and starching their crisp white karate gi so that it makes a lovely crack when they throw their perfect yakutsuki. They don't want to spend their time pinned on their back on the floor trying to convince themselves that pain's bearable while a naturally gifted teenager works incrementally closer to choking them into unconsciousness, praying they can squeeze their chin down enough and tense their neck muscles for long enough that the buzzer goes before everything goes dark. Again. But in truth, that's exactly what you need to be doing. You need to be training with someone who's genuinely trying to beat you, that wants to stop you doing any of the things that you've learned, while forcing you to give in. If you don't push yourself to the point of losing, then you aren't actually improving. If training doesn't hurt, it isn't really training. But the vast majority of people want the ability without having earned it, just like people want the big muscles without having to lift the heavy weights. They want to be good at fighting without having ever lost a fight. They want to believe that the framed calligraphy on the walls and the neat rows of tabby by the door is genuinely going to give them the ability that it always seems to on television. But it won't. That ability only comes with the dirty, sweaty, messy experience of getting onto the mats with a bunch of people who already have that ability. People that want nothing more than to share it with you. And then doing that again. And again. And again. There's nothing wrong with training in an art because you want to get fit. Because you love the cultural aspects that seem to have become irrevocably attached to it. Even just because you love the aesthetics of an art. But if what you want to learn is how to actually fight and win the way the great sage equal of heaven did, then you're going to need to stow your cognitive dissonance and your cultural martial arts mystique at the door, right next to your ego. If you manage to do that, I promise you you're in for a hell of a ride. So if you're one of the very many people who love the idea of martial arts and have yet to try grappling, find a local BJJ club, or a catch wrestling club, or Sambo, or if push comes to shove, judo. You see what I did there. Just go down for a trial lesson. But if you do, make sure you go with an open mind. And try not to take it personally when you don't win. So now, over to you. What do you think? Am I right? Or am I talking bollocks? Stick something in the comments and let me know. It'd be really good to hear from you. And to those of you still here, right at the end of the video. Fight team.